Hey everybody, I hope you guys are healthy and safe. So I am here by the beautiful Hong Kong Harbor. I'm about to go on a boat trip with my friends and I figure might as well do a video while I'm on a boat trip. So I've been using the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3 for about a week now. You know, just enough, about enough time for me to have a conclusion. So in this video, I'm gonna basically do a review of the Z Flip 3 and also show you guys how the phone operates outside and about in a real day in the life. So the footage you're watching right now is shot with the ultra wide angle camera of the Z Flip 3. The sound's also coming from the phone and I am shooting with the phone closed up right now because the Z Flip 3 has a really cool design that allows me to film myself with the main camera system but I can still see myself. Before we start, we have to check battery life. It is 9.45 right now and we have 93% battery. Battery life is going to be a concern for this phone because it's relatively small at 3,300 milliamp hour. I'm going to be using the phone heavily today, so I don't know if it will last. Okay, so now this is ultra wide angle footage with the phone open. So when you shoot with the phone closed, the video actually comes in this weird square-ish um, format, aspect ratio. So if you want actual widescreen video, then you do have to open up the phone to shoot, which I'm doing right now. I think this is still ultra wide angle camera. Okay, this is ultra wide angle camera. How is stabilization? Because right now I'm on a moving boat and it is quite rocky. Ultra wide angle camera. We'll go to the main camera. And now we have main camera footage right here. Okay, let's go over hardware really quick. The Flip 3 has a 6.7 inch display. Man, it's a really good looking panel. I know right now on camera it might not show, but I can still see the screen pretty clearly, even though I'm under direct sunlight and I'm wearing sunglasses. That's because the maximum brightness of the Flip 3 has improved significantly over the last year's uh, Flip 5G. Now there's a hole punch right here housing a 10 megapixel selfie camera, but you don't need to use this much because like I said, you can take selfies with the main camera system. So this main camera system consists of two 12 megapixel cameras, one wide, one ultra wide. During the day under good sunlight, photos and videos turn out great. Excellent dynamic range. Stabilization for videos is pretty good too. But when you shoot at night, um, the ultra wide angle camera does suffer because it's only an f2.2 aperture and image sensor size is not that large. The main camera at night is okay. These are pretty good cameras but not like up to par with 2021 premium slap flagship cameras. There's no zoom lens for example so any zoom is just uh, digital zoom. The chipset inside is a Snapdragon 888 and there's uh, 8 gigs of RAM with either 128 of 256 gigs of internal storage. So these components are pretty good. Maybe flagship quality if you want to be generous, but they're not quite, you know, 2021 premium flagship quality because right now we have phones with Snapdragon 888 Plus and 12 gigs of RAM, but that's okay because Samsung decided to make practical refinements this uh, generation instead of pushing for the latest specs. So Samsung made two big improvements to the Flip 3. The first is IPX8 water resistance. So that means the phone can survive underwater for 30 minutes. Now, not seawater, unfortunately. So if I drop this phone out in the sea, it's still gonna probably die on me. But at least if it rains, I don't have to be like, oh, I'm concerned about the phone. The second improvement comes in the outside screen. It is four times larger than last year's. Last year's outside screen was pretty useless. You can really only use it to see notification icons. This year, you can actually read the notification. Like if someone sends me a WhatsApp message, I can actually read it. Perhaps the biggest improvement of all is in the price. So the Flip 3 starts at 999 US dollars. This is a pretty big deal um, because the fact that it's under four digits, American dollars, makes the phone feel a lot more reasonable than like $1,200 or something. So even though personally, if I have to choose one foldable from Samsung's uh, two new foldables, I would pick the Fold because I ultimately like to have a bigger screen. I think I'm more productive with a bigger screen. I have to say I really enjoyed using the Flip over the past week. Like right now, I'm filming a video hands-free and I don't, I don't need a tripod or anything because the phone can stand on, on its own. How cool is that? Uh. 
So the battery is down to 30% right now at 1.20 p.m. But um, this setup is so useful. I can just shoot, film myself like this. Let's jump back to 1x and then zoom in a little bit. Yeah, 2x, you're still getting a good video. Okay, we are on shore. What's your wide angle camera? Wow, look at these cows here, chilling. Oh, Hello. Hello, It's lunchtime, eh? Okay, it is uh, 1.48 right now and I have plugged my Flip 3 into a portable battery because battery dipped down to 22%. So I started at 9.45 with 93% and now after four hours, the phone's down to 23%. Um, hello. So yeah, I'm gonna show you some more nighttime photo and video samples that I captured the last few days. I think as you can see, at night, the Flip 3's camera is just um, okay, but during the day, it's pretty good. So yeah, ultimately, the Flip 3 is a really fun phone. It's compact, and it allows you to film yourself at various different angles. But if you are after long-lasting battery life and maybe the best possible cameras, then this phone is not for you. But I, like I said earlier, I think this phone has major, major mass appeal because at 999 the price is now reasonable enough for people who are interested in foldables to give it a try. You know when foldables first came out, people were mostly concerned about two things, high price and the supposed fragility of the phone. And Samsung has kind of answered both. This is reasonably priced and it's more durable than before. IPX8 water resistance and the hinge, it's made of uh, armored aluminum, so it's supposedly 25% stronger than before. So yeah, that's about it for this review on the Galaxy Z Flip. Three. It's a very, very damn fun phone. But like I said, ultimately, I'm gonna go back to the Fold 3 because I want the bigger screen. But I honestly think foldable phones are the future. And I think Samsung's betting on it too because you know it basically canceled the Galaxy Note 9 to give you this. So yeah, that's about it for this review. I have a lot more content coming up, including on a couple of Xiaomi devices, the Honor Magic 3 Pro Plus, still waiting on that and uh, maybe the new iPhone. So if you're interested in keeping up to date with all the latest gadgets, please subscribe to my channel or follow me on Instagram at Ben's Gadget Reviews. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.